nipples out on Collins. I be. What's going on, everybody? The original makeup back, and we have tier list time again. It's been so long, but before we get into it, make sure you check those links in the description. Um, any support on the Patreon, I would really, really appreciate it, guys. Uh, I don't know if you know how much it helps me for even as little as $3 a month. Uh, supporting that Patreon gets you some exclusive content and helps me out infinitely. Um, so I would really appreciate that. And then Twitch is getting close to 1,000 followers, so make sure to check out the Twitch as well. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, it's been unbelievable and amazing, and I'm really excited for this game's full release to come out. I'm sure you guys are too, and you know we'll be covering that in great detail when it happens. But that being said, today, it's tier list time. Now, I made this tier list, so sue me for the bad look for some of the stuff. But anyways, we're going to look at the top two synergies, in my opinion, from each character, and kind of rank them... Uh, against each other on this tier list and um, it, now mind you here I want you to keep this in mind this is very important these are in my opinion the top two synergies from each character okay so something in D tier here is only compared to these other things not compared to all the other synergies you could possibly have okay and I know that's some people might be like, oh, well, we're about this synergy. We're about that. Look, all right, I could have done like 10 synergies for each character, but that's a little too aggressive, okay? Some characters have like three or four synergies that are really easy to see. Other characters, it's like, well, that could be a synergy on any character, not just this character. So we're doing two each, and D tier doesn't necessarily mean bad. It just means not as good as the other ones in this list, Okay. Good. We got it. Good. Done. Easy. Boom. Okay. First up, we're going to start with the cats. Uh, the first one for the cat is... I'm going to do this one because it's the one that's popping out on the screen to me. Is the energy blade, like, high damage in one hit synergy. Now, some of you might not even, like, what the fuck is that? What are you talking about? Listen, when I first started playing the game a little over a year ago, the cat and the dog were the only two characters. And the highest damage in one shot stat was still a stat. So in order to try to get the highest damage in a single shot, you would play the cat and you would use energy blade, which is after casting your orb, like your E ability, your next shot deals plus 500% extra damage. Uh, I believe that's at tier three. So you would take a really high damage weapon and then you would use your energy orb and your next shot would deal 500% extra damage, which is a, a ton of damage. Um, still very viable today. Obviously, the tiger now exists, so it's less viable, but still a definitely a viable option in, in today's meta and super fun to do. Um, but compared to the other things on this list, it's absolutely C tier. Uh, and by C tier, I mean D tier. <laughs> um, it, it's just, it, it's, it's not nearly as good as the other things uh, on this list. Um, the tiger just does a better job of this. For the most part so it's kind of a scuffed tiger um i guess you could you could if you um upgraded heavily into the orb uh like you have six charges of your energy orb then maybe it, it could bump up a tier but still not that not, not not great that might bump it up to c tier anyways next tier or next synergy is this elemental uh, the elemental tree on the cat, so the elemental synergy for the cat, okay? And I think to no avail, no surprise, that's S tier. It's the best It's the best in the game, 100%, no doubt about it. It's the best synergy in the game, most consistent damage out of the cat's elemental builds. Can run through Reincarnation 7 without any issues whatsoever. It's not like... You have to get, oh, you have to have perfect ascensions to get this going. Uh, you have to get really good scrolls or a really good wet. No. Elemental damage or elemental synergies on the cat just are consistent every single time. You'll get something to work. I promise. Every single time. Okay? So, most consistent. Shows up. Clocks in. Gets the job done and goes home. Best synergy in the game. So, S tier, easily. It could probably go in its own category. 
Next up, we have the dog. And the first one on the dog is going to be the dog's explosive synergy. Obviously, the dog is known for his explosions. Uh, Tiger Cannon works really well. The Justice still works really well, but it worked really, really well before it got nerfed. Um, grenades, I guess. But grenades would kind of be their own synergy because it has its own tree. But anyways, explosive damage on the dog. That's going to get a nice, a nice B tier from me. Um... Double Tiger Cannons for a while was, like, my favorite thing to do in this game. Um, which was not possible without the explosive builds because it, it can increase your AoE. It can increase just the damage from explosions to a crazy amount. Um, for a while, you could have a, a chance of dealing, like, double the damage with each explosion, which is just a silly amount of damage. And I really liked it. Um, not to mention, you know, you could get some scrolls to, to help your, your ammo go like deft hands or something like that to make it even more fun. Um, but I just think it, it's not super consistent, but it's a lot of fun. So in terms of like its usefulness at reincarnation seven, you're going to need to get really lucky. But if you want to just have fun on like nightmare or early reincarnation, whatever, then this is the way to go. 100% the way to go. Um, I, like I said, Double Tiger Cannon was one of the most fun things I did for a while. Uh, the next synergy on the dog that we're going to talk about is the Dual Wield synergy. So, basically, well, not the green tree, just Dual Wield synergy, like Lucky Ammo. Um, the one where uh, while you're dual wielding, you deal double the damage, but you get double the consumption. Obviously, battle tested, the picture I used increases the duration of Dual Wield. Um, dual wield is going to go A for me. It's a more consistent, significantly more consistent than this, uh, than the explosive. And you can have a lot of fun with it too. Um, my number one suggestion would be a lightning glove, fire glove combo, and then just try to get as much into battle tested as you can. Cause if you have battle tested at tier three and you have a lightning glove and a fire glove, you're never running out of dual wield. You will be dual wielding until the end of time and you'll be doing elemental damage along with it. The best elemental combo of lightning and fire. So, uh, not to mention there's double angelic auras that I'm still trying to get a really good build with. Um, dual wielding anything is just a lot of fun. And if you get battle tested to tier three and you're dual wielding for the whole run, that makes it even more fun. Uh, not to mention you can get like double damage. You can get increased health while you're dual wielding. You can get a lot of dual wield support. Um, and two is always better than one, right? So going all in on a dual wield build is, is a tier. For me um, next up we have the bird and the first one I chose for the bird is the leap build which was just shown off um, the other day in a video if you want to go check out that video you should go check it out it was very recent uh, bird leap build goes C for me um, I couldn't even do it on reincarnation 7 because Nova release you just can't get enough stacks of Nova release you can't kill things quick enough unless you have a busted weapon which once again, I'm going based off of just this synergy, not requiring like a bunch of extra things to make it super good. Um, but on lower reincarnation levels or normal, elite, nightmare, all those, um, you can definitely get this thing working and, and pumping. Uh, a really good leap engine. Uh, eventually, you can actually, once again, you have to do this on probably nightmare or below. Maybe you could get away with it on reincarnation one. But if you get enough leap upgrades, you could just be spam leaping and having your leap on cooldown, just hitting, getting a kill with it, cooldown, leap again, leap again, leap again. Um, in the video the other day, I did over 300,000 damage in a single leap, thanks to Nova release. Um, so it's a lot of fun, just not real consistent, and you're not going to get, like, it's not going to mow through higher levels like this does. So it's going to get C tier for me. Um... And, yeah, that's just where I see the leap build on the uh, bird. Side note, real quick, if I was to do the cleave build as the other one, I don't think cleave build's in the top two for the bird. It would be F tier. Uh, the cleave build is terrible after you get past Nightmare, pretty much. So, yeah. Uh, after you get past Elite, really. Even on Nightmare, cleave build is hard to get going. But either way. Um, next up for the bird was Hail of Bullets. Okay. The Hail of Bullets build where you can take a Wild Hunt, 
or a tiger cannon, something that has really low ammo in the mag and make it just so much better. Um, Hail of Bullets for me is going to go B tier, actually. For those of you that watched my no-hit challenge um, when I was trying to go through an entire run of the game without taking a single hit, uh, the bird with Hail of Bullets and a Tiger Cannon was the most consistent uh, build that I had in that in that challenge because having a, sh a weapon that, you know, it has a really slow reload and you can only shoot it once before it's gone, being able to take the that away and shoot an extra, like, five or six rockets before you have to reload is insane. Not to mention if you get lucky and get, like, deft hands, like, you're, you're barely ever reloading a tiger cannon and you don't have to it's not like advanced depot where you're losing damage you don't lose any damage you're actually gaining uh lucky shot with hail of bullets so uh really really great synergy <sighs> uh works really well with the wild hunt too once again wild hunt is like two quick shots and then you have to reload if you take away that two quick shots and then have to reload part of it, then it just does infinitely better. So the Hail of Bullets synergy, and I do think it is a good enough synergy. Like, it's it's a one, one ascension synergy, and I do think it's good enough to A, belong in the top two for the bird, and B, belong on this list and stand in this list at, at B tier. I think it's a really good synergy, and in my opinion, it's the most fun thing to do on the bird. Uh, the bird's really good because of its armor and defense, stuff like that. But I think uh, I think Hail of Bullets um, deserves this spot. I really do. Argue with me in the comments. I'm sure you will already. I'm sure you guys have been furiously typing for like 10 minutes already. Uh, next, we go to the tiger. I want to preface this by saying, A, I barely play the tiger. I don't really like the tiger very much, if we're being honest. So I don't know his synergies too well. Um but the first one I picked is obviously his sniper enhanced shot synergy, right? With the sniper doing a ton of damage in a single a single shot. Um, I'm gonna put it C tier. Now, if this was before the nerf to the explosive build on the tiger, the explosive build would have been A or S tier, hundred percent, and it would have been in here. But just having that capability for snipers, you know, making a, a sniper do like, oh, my sniper did 600, 700,000 damage. Like, it's cool. It is. But I, once I've done it once, doing it again, like, yeah, oh, maybe I can min-max and get 700, 800,000 damage. Maybe I can get like 2 mil. Like, it's the same thing over and over again. You're just maybe min-maxing a few things different to get you to that higher tier, that higher level. Um, it, it, it is, it is, I will say, I will say the tiger with, with the weapon boost, you know, doing a ton of damage in a single shot snipers, it is very consistent. Um, which mm, makes me move it into B. It is very consistent. Okay. I'm going to be, try to be not biased here. Uh, it is very consistent. I just find it boring and one dimensional and not really for me personally, like, it's fun to do every once in a while, but only every once in a while for me. Um, but I will put it into B because it is an extremely consistent way of doing doing a lot of damage and, and a way of building the tiger. Next one is actually Chain Lightning, okay? Now, the main, the main point of this build is Lightning from Void, okay? If you get Lightning from Void going, uh, there's a lot of Chain Lightning upgrades that can make Lightning from Void just insane. Um... And then if you find a scalpel, because the chance to proc lightning avoid is based off of the crit uh, multiplier on the weapon. Scalpel has a pretty high crit multiplier, and it shoots very, very fast. So if you're hitting a lot of crits with your scalpel, it, you're going to proc lightning from void a lot. And having a bunch of other uh, lightning upgrades and, and whatnot can really help that out, in my opinion. Um... And I'm going to put it in B because I think it is a really good synergy. I don't. I think it's way less consistent, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's a, a much more um, non-one-dimensional way to build the tiger. And when I play the tiger, typically, if I want to like enjoy myself and not want to die, I'm going to be doing a lightning from void, chain lightning type of build. All right. So that's my opinion. 
Uh, it goes in the B. A lot, lot in the B here. A lot of, a lot of good, not great. We have two that are eh, four that are like, you know, they're right on par. Uh, one that's just above average and one that just blows it out of the water. But next up, we're going to do uh, the sword build on the bunny. And that goes in A. I don't think it's quite as good as the dual wield build here. But the sword build on the bunny, super good, super fun, uh, super high damage potential. Uh, can clear rooms out like crazy. Um, I would say it, it's definitely better on reincarnation because of the remnants that you can get like ice blade or being able to charge your swords uh even when they're off cooldown or while they're cooling down um both of those can make this just so much fun like a super fun build and just insane uh damage output room clear um you get some cooldown going and you're spamming those swords you don't even have to shoot a weapon you can just spam your swords throughout the whole thing and it is pretty consistent. You have a ton of ascensions that help you with this, a ton of scrolls that'll help you with this. Um, like I said, a couple of exclusive remnants if you're on um, Nightmare, not just one remnant, but a couple that can help with this. So definitely uh, deserves an A tier in my opinion. It's above all of these for sure. Uh, I think it's third out of the ones up here so far, but still great synergy, super fun, exciting, and just uh, if, if you've been so busy worried about the Q on the bunny try a sword build try to just go all in on it i promise you you'll have a good time uh speaking of Q build on the bunny that's the last one here and i think this will be no surprise either that has to be s tier it has to be uh i don't think it's as consistent as an elemental build but it's damn close it is uh the Q build on the bunny is silly not not just because of how good it is and how much damage output you can get, especially in reincarnation, because there are, I think maybe three, there's three or four remnants that help that like make this thing go crazy, uh, which is silly, which means you're definitely going to see at least two of them most likely on your run. If you're not super unlucky, um, not to mention, there's so many different ways you can, you can build your, your weapon style. You can just go for, insane fire rate with the angelic aura to proc it you can go for something like a, a porcupine that's going to proc it on like every single shot or an illusion that's going to be like kind of a mix of the of the two um so many different ways to build around the queue and yet every time it's so consistent it's just going to do a ton of damage it is like all the time it's just going to do a ton of damage um in fact the new remnant that got added uh not too long ago that was a specific to the bunny's Q. I almost did like it was a I think it was a couple hundred thousand. I think I was trying to get a milli and I couldn't quite get there. But I got a few hundred thousand on a proc that is meant for it's just the Q build on the bunny is a lot of fun. And if you're you're new to the game and you haven't unlocked the bunny yet and you're looking forward to it, as soon as you unlock the bunny, try read its Q, understand it. Okay. It's it's not the easiest thing to understand, but try to wrap your mind around exactly how it works and then just let yourself run free on a Q build I, try a sword build yes absolutely but Q is more is more consistent it, it's just better overall the E build is still super fun and super good but building around Fatal Bloom is just insane um, and a ton of fun to do so that's it for the tier list on the top two synergies for each character uh, I'm actually going to start doing some more tier lists for Gunfire. I have uh, a couple of ideas for, for some other ones I want to do, like um, Remnants, tier list for Remnants, tier list for Enemies, um, stuff like that. Just uh, uh, some fun things to, to keep this, uh, keep some stuff kind of fresh going into the fall update, which I think we're still a couple months away from, so... Uh, you know, gunfire, please, if you're watching this, if you're listening to this, if you know somebody who works at the company, at the, at the studio, please, please, when you release the full game, let us mod, let us mod the game, please. I promise it's only going to benefit you. I promise. It'll keep content fresh. People will want to keep watching gunfire content because it's not the same thing over and over again, right? It'll keep players that are playing fresh because they can keep playing new content while they wait for your next drop right they can keep playing new stuff they'll stay engaged right 
Like, just, just do it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Like I said, make sure you guys check out the, check out those links in the description. More, uh, let me know what other type of tier list you guys might want to see in the comments down below. Let me know why I'm wrong with this one. I'm sure you guys will have plenty of reasons why this is a terrible list and I should be banned from the gunfire community. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the support as always. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.